uh, welcome everyone. It's been a while, and I know it's been a while, but uh, I'm making an episode now because, as I said, it's been a while. I haven't really been playing the account much. Um, figures I'm going through a little bit of burnout on this game. Not that it's it's not that it's this account. It's just like playing it every single day and trying to do prize fights and then you have your rift and then you have daily events and then you do it on the on a different account but right now I'm trying to level up um I'm trying to finish off my silent kill on my main account because she's like 43 44 now something like that and I'm just gonna diamond her immediately so that's one thing I've been doing and then obviously it's if you watch that uh if you watch the previous episode I think where I just open a bunch of relics. I got Headhunter, so she's gonna be next. But um, yeah. So I hope I hope you've all been. Um, I hope you've all been okay since I last spoke to you through a video. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but um, yeah. I think today we're gonna do. We're gonna attempt some of the. We're gonna attempt some of the. The master story because i did do one fight uh, a few days ago just to try it and i was able to so as you can see i have leveled up the, i have leveled up the fighters quite a bit like toad warrior is 40 uh, inkling is nearly 40 wolfsbane is level 25 um you can also see that my coin value has gone down by a lot i had like 500 600 thousand coins and i've just gone on a spending spree because i need to one that is notable is um Bloodbath now has a guaranteed chance to convert bleed into regen. And Bloodbath, I dare say Bloodbath is only good when you get that maxed out. That's why I rush to do it, because it's just way too important for Bloodbath. It makes her immune to... Well, not immune. It makes her sort of a hard counter to dreadlocks. Sort of, in quotes. Um, it makes her pretty good against... Dark Knight Catalysts, even though you just use um, you just use Chaos Spanish for that anyway, but if you can't, or you've got to use it, then she's good against certain things like that. Um, she's good against a lot of characters that inflict bleed, obviously, so you've got your Class Cutters, your, your Bad Hair Days, uh, Primed if she donates tears and you mess up. There's quite a lot of characters that inflict bleed. Also Pain Wheels, like a lot of Pain Wheels. So she is, she's very strong for that, plus she has a very high, she has like the highest attacks that I think out of all Eliza's bar the diamonds so she's very good and who else did I spend on I honestly don't know I'm pretty sure I spent quite a bit on Toad Warrior just because she was 40 and I wanted to get her done quite a bit and I think maybe I think I spent on Vaporwave too let me double check I think I did I got that to 10 seconds so now she doesn't have five seconds of it, she has ten seconds of it, which is fantastic. And I think that's it. Maybe I invested in Rainbow Blight. No, I haven't touched Rainbow Blight. So yeah, I think that's it. I can't really... I don't think there's any other one that I've invested in that I can think of immediately. So we're just going to attempt some of these fights. And... As I said, like, it has been a while, I apologise for being very inactive. Um, as I said, I'm going through a little bit of burnout. I'm just trying to, I do, at the minute, on my main account, I'm doing the bare minimum and I'm just logging out, because... Obviously doing it for so many years, it gets, it do, you do have stages where it gets boring. But, I still try and do the bare minimum of at least completing dailies and stuff. And then leaving it at that. But I do need to get back into grinding on my main account, especially for diamond relics, because that's something that I enjoy a lot. And I know that I can't get it unless I actually play the game, right? So... But yeah, I'm going to try my best to play this account and juggle my main account at the same time. Like my, the, the thing is, it wouldn't even take that long. My main account could probably 0 to 20 million on a prize fight in like a couple hours at maximum so it wouldn't really take me that long I well I say a couple hours at maximum maybe even a little bit quicker than that but 
this account as, as it's not strong enough yet, I could just do... I could even just try and push for like a million points or something in the prize fight and then just leave it at that. So... That was another thing. I think I put it at the front at the start of the video. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and show it. We brought Perfect Dark, so now that I've seen what this what this um, horror one is, I'm not gonna do it until I invest in that Perfect Dark, that overclocked one, because it's practically needed. So apologies on that. I think I also might have put Big Ben relics at the start. That's a maybe. I think I got like four bronzes anyway, so it wasn't a big issue. Before we do this, I know it's been six minutes. I'm an idiot. I just want to double check. Yeah, we're literally... I clicked pause by mistake. I my phone. I, I swiped my hand on my thumb across my phone and clicked pause. So now there's going to be a strange cut in the video. But we're 40 shards off. So... I think I'm going to do a few fights of this, honestly. I'll do a couple. Like, this one is... I'm going to do this one because it's just no diamond. You can use literally whoever you want. So I'll do this one and then I'll cut away. Uh, if the next one isn't too difficult, I will cut away. But what, I'll probably just show treasure notes. That's probably going to be Windstalker. Yes. Who's behind her? Dark Might. I actually had a feeling it was going to be Dark Might. Just for some reason, because I know that he can level 3, and I was like, oh, it's probably going to give me that then, isn't it? As you can see, this is actually pretty difficult. The only way to remove those stacks is to knock them down, so I don't know why I didn't go with Bloodbath first, knowing. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, but she gets perma regen? Beautiful. Yeah, okay, Bloodbath eats this modifier alive. Well, there you go. I think I am going to skip a lot of these fights now, because if you have Bloodbath, you just use Bloodbath. As you can see here, you literally just use Bloodbath and you win. That is actually so... <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Obviously, she's not, she's not going to remove the regen stacks all the time. And as you can see, that now they're out healing, kind of, but... Hmm... You could use you could use fighters with curse and stuff as well. I think that would also be good. That's why I need to work on that perfect dark. As I've already said. But Yeah, that wasn't actually that difficult. Like the power obviously there's a big power gap, but I think at the start of the series it was a bit uncomfortable to be in a bad power gap. Now that there's a power gap and I actually have fighters invested in, it doesn't matter too much. Like you can still you can still manage. Air and light, so this one. Who am I gonna use for light? I think I think I'm gonna use Rusty. I could use Somersault who will remove buffs. Or as I said, I could use Rusty and convert buffs. That's what I'm gonna do. If she converts it into Perma Bleed, and I don't know if you can remove Perma Bleed. The only way to remove, well, then again, the only way to remove this regen might be, uh... No, she can remove it. Okay, so she's actually pretty good for this. Pretty good, quote-unquote. Like, you have to, you have to hope it procs. But she's doing a good job at procking so far, so... All good. Oh god, I need to move. Never mind, I did. I was expecting her to... Normally when you down a uh, blue screen, even if they don't have armor stacks, like it says in the, um, in the signature ability, they normally just um, blow up. They have, a, they have a unique animation. And I was expecting it to blow up and just annihilate my Rusty, because obviously Rusty has a very low health pool. But I think they got away with one there. I'll check the next one, because, obviously, uh, double pain wheel, okay, double pain wheel, we've already discussed, it's rusty, so, I'm gonna go for a bit, and probably just get to this first treasure note if I can, 
Oh, soft reset. Damn, okay. That's gonna be somewhat difficult, but I still think I'll be okay. So, yeah, I'll see, I'll see you in a minute. Well, that was ended quickly. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this quickly just to show you. I didn't realize the power. I honestly didn't realize the power. You'll see, look at, look at the chip. So, uh, yeah. I think, I think Master Story's already been put to an end because of a double pain wheel node. That's super annoying. Like, you can see I do damage. I can do it. But I'm expecting him to just wolf shoot any second. I'm gonna do this, he's gonna cancel it, and there you go. If Sale wasn't in the game, man. I just don't like Beowulf as a character. I mean, literally one special move and you're dead. I don't like it when fights are decided like that. You have to RNG roll into a move. Well, I guess that means, uh, oh. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do then, I'm thinking just do some master stories, honestly, because no, not Master Stories, uh, Origin. Because... We're one off of gold. I still need to level up Perfect Dark. So... Yeah. I mean, didn't I do... I did Master for some for one of them, didn't I? It must have been Cerebella Relics, I'm not big fan. Because I remember completing this. Because Toad Warrior is insane. But even like she's not even that heavily invested in, but she was doing so much work for me in this. So I think the one we're gonna do, as I've already completed a master one or an expert one, I'm gonna do another expert one in Valentine's because uh, still missing Surgeon General, still missing Silent Kill, and that's about it really. Um, if we got a diamond, then it, I would if it would have to be Trey Chick for me to be happy with it. But, yeah, I'll, I'll take, um, if we can get a Surgeon General from this, it'll be a massive help. Especially as just, as, like, even if I didn't, I wouldn't use her really for offense. Even though one of her signature abilities is mainly offensive, I would use her mainly as a support, obviously, because heavy regen and immunity for 15 seconds is just too good to pass up, so... The modifier for this one is... there isn't a modifier, it's only on these, then. Tag in with 100 health and 100 blockbuster meter, so we've seen that one before, it just means you have to finish off the things you're fighting, so I will, I can't believe this has been 13 minutes of like two fights and me talking and explaining where I've been. Oh well, that's what I'm, no I'm pretty sure that's like my trademark thing now, just making a long video for nothing really. But, um, you know what? There is something else I want to talk about quickly. I don't know, I don't know how many of my audience are going to know this, but I'm going to openly talk about it, uh, because it's something that's popped up literally, what, yesterday, and it has annoyed the hell out of me to hear it. So, probably, there probably isn't a lot of you who watch football. Or if you're American, soccer. There probably isn't many people who watch like they, if they watch if you're an American, you watch what you call soccer. You would probably just watch um, Major League Soccer, MLS. So I don't think there is uh, there is some who would know about like the Premier League or, or the French League, which is known as Ligue 1, like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But um. We we had an announcement in the UK today that there is going to be what is known as a Super League, which has all the teams competing from all around the world, like literally the best teams, and they all just jump into one league. Um, and it's going to replace something known as the Champions League. I, I mean, I know I'm making it sound very basic, but it's just in case none of you follow football. I'm just trying to like make a clear image of it so there's this there's this european cup called the champions league and that's where the best of the teams go every year 
um, in a knockout stage. They go into group stages. Uh, 24, is it 24? No, it's 32. 32 teams who qualify for it, which are the top four in the Premier in the Premier League or the well the English league. It's it's the best. It's the top four teams go into the Champions League. Um, and I think it's the same for the rest of the... I don't know how it works. I'm pretty sure it's the same for the rest of the leagues. Because the top nine... I think the top nine European... Wait, no. I think that's how it works anyway. I don't know. I don't know 100%. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So they go into a group stage, and first and second place in each group then goes on to the round of... Uh, 16, I think. I'm pretty sure it's round of 16. Yeah, round of 16. Uh, then they compete until there's 8, then they compete until there's 4, then the final, and then whoever wins the final is the champion of Europe. For, like, that year. But, um, it's gonna completely replace that competition this new Super League and it's just gonna it's just gonna ruin football because you have to like you as a viewer you will have to pay more for it um, they're going to be getting more revenue from that and they've already com they've already confirmed like I watched just before starting this video I I've been following it heavily since I've learned about it and I have now learned that um, that there is going that all they care about really is the money. They have come out and said that themselves, the clubs. And well, one of the clubs that I, the club that I support, is involved in all of this. So um, I don't think I'm going to be following that club anymore because it's not right. It's, it's kind of, it's really sad to see it, because uh, it means now, like, as I said, you have to pay more of it as a viewer to watch it. And they just don't, they do not care about their, like, fan base at all, because every single person has come out and said, this is a bad thing, you need to stop. Because it's taking the, it's taking the point out of football, and the point of football is to be, like, for the community, and just to be, like, a good, a good overall experience for everyone. But it's not going to be anymore. It's just going to become another like money scheme, I should say. But um, yeah, just wanted to just wanted to get that out. And if people know about it, then yeah, it's it's not a, it's not a good time, especially with what's going on in the world right now. It's just it's so disgusting. But anyway, less of that and more about schoolgirls. I've just realised. This, the power of this Princess Pride, and that's why it's taking so long to go out. I'm just trying not to- I went straight through that attack. I'm just trying not to die. Or lose my, um... I'm just trying not to lose Graveyard Shift, because if I lose Graveyard Shift, then it's probably... I don't know if Shelter would be able to do it. But yeah, that, that was a nice, um... Six minute ramble, ramble that could have took like three minutes, maybe even two minutes. So I'm gonna finish this entire thing off, and I'll probably I'm gonna see you at the end. I don't think I'm gonna show any of the modifiers because modifiers are modifiers and they don't make much of a difference unless they're terrible ones. If there's one that's truly bad, I'll I'll bring it back and show you for like five seconds. But honestly, I'm just gonna finish all this off and then open the relics at the end. And fingers crossed we get over so if we get a silver, then I'm happy with that. Uh, if we get a Surgeon General or Silent Kill, I'm also happy with that. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. I'm gonna show you now, I've completed it. There you go. It actually took quite a while, because um, I did say I wanted to level up Perfect Dark. And when I say I could not level up Perfect Dark at all, I mean it. The Master Fights were like... 15k teams, but you could only use two. And... Like this... This Graveyard Shift, it has leveled up quite a lot, but you know for a fact it's not gonna solo a 15k team. 
because not enough attack stat or whatever. So Perfect Dark is level 14, so it's it's somewhat okay. But I need to get if I want to get any like value out of it, I need to get it as close to 40 as possible. So that means I'm probably gonna have to do it myself anyway, which I mean you have to. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm gonna have like oh well I guess I have to, but that's the point, isn't it? But yeah, as as I said before, um, Surgeon General, Silent Kill, or a Silver is what I'm looking for. So I just hope that I get at least a Silver. Because then we get a Gold Relic, which would be pretty nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's for scrubs, isn't it? Wow. Ouch. I want to double check. Was that actually for scrubs? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, the first one was an icy heart, but wow. Oh, wait, fire score. I don't know what I'm gonna do then to get this to just get these like silver shards. I mean I need I'm gonna have to get silver shards, aren't I? Hmm. You know it's not it's not the worst thing in the world, really. The longer we the longer we have to wait for that gold relic, the more suspense it will be when we get it, right? So I'm not too disheartened. And I got quite a few characters leveled up to some well, some extent. Uh, Wolfsbane got leveled up quite a bit. He's now, to, well, two levels. Not quite a bit, but yeah. Inkling is now 40. Uh, Bloodbath is now 20. I used Vaporwave a little bit. She's 20. So yeah, we're getting there. But yeah, I mean... As much as I said I wasn't going to be sad about getting valent getting just bronzes, like we're get I'm reaching the stage in the game where I need to start getting more stuff than just bronzes. So that's why I was a little bit sad about it, but you can't I mean this this account has had stupid luck already. So I mean it's just to balance it out, isn't it? So Yeah. Speaking of much stupid luck, my account, uh, my main account, I got a gold relic this morning from uh, Rift Rewards. It had another material girl in it. And, as you know, I have one on this account already. So now my main account has two material girls, a timeless hero, uh, and ageless wonder. But I'm still missing Moonstruck. And this account has a Materia Girl and two Moonstrucks. So. Yeah. I've been getting pretty lucky with Annie. But. That's the end of the video. So. If you watched me after me not being active for a week. Um, once again I apologise. And thank you for clicking on the video. I'm going to try and stay a little bit more consistent but as I said I'm having a bit of a burnout slip period um, I will be I will be able to like get up and play this game a lot again like I used to when I first started the series I just gotta the thing is when you do it for so long like I've been playing it since this fortune release like you do eventually get burned out everybody gets burned out and I haven't really had a burnout period yet I've been able to play it for for this long. I well, I don't say I say I didn't have a burnout period. There were points like right now where I think I, I didn't really play it before Christmas, but then as soon as the Christmas price fight came out, I came back and I was playing it non-stop, and then it, I was able to play it for quite a while after that. Hence why this this account exists. But not really playing it right now because I know 
well, as I said, one, I'm getting a little bit burned out, and two, I know there's going to be a Cinco de Mayo price fight, because there always is. So, one thing that I might do is, I might just, I might just wing it for Cinco de Mayo, and honestly, I might, I might just live stream it. And if anybody turns up, then that's fine. If nobody turns up, that's also fine. I'll probably keep it on. I'll probably keep it on the on YouTube as a video, uh, just in case anybody ever wants to see anything. And I'll just say in the description or in a pinned comment or something, just saying like, "Oh, well, rewards are at X amount of time." Because I will just I will open whatever I get, like the relics. I won't I won't save them. I open them there and then normally. So, if that's something you guys are interested in, um, just turn up, honestly. And if you don't, you know, I don't mind either. Like, everyone's busy. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And I, if I can sort myself out, I should be seeing you sometime uh, this week again. Not wait until next Monday. Probably Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how much I play this game, slash how much time I have, because I'm a little bit busy right now, so I um, hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.